Hello, Judy. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You know, it's officially fall, but we're hanging on to those summer festivals for, for our life. And even with fall, it doesn't mean you got to hole up in the inside, right? You can get yeah. out. Lots to enjoy, whether you're inside or outside doesn't matter. One of my favorites and one of the biggest in town is this weekend, the yep. Monroe Street Festival. Correct. Almost 40 years old and it is really a one that delivers, right? Something for everybody. There's um, sales, there's entertainment, there's great food and obviously a great environment. The Monroe Street neighborhood is lovely and the people really come out but people from outside of the area too come to enjoy it all. Um, and then there's the Oktoberfest, the Isthmus Oktoberfest. Is Correct. This Second year and at this uh, brief Stevens Field, which is just a wonderful place to have an event, uh, really open air, and there's going to be over 50 brewers there. And what's really special about this is there's some great food to go along with that drink. So, you know, <laughs> be sure to be um, drink responsibly, but um, there's <laughs> I love that. some of the great vendors that are there. There's going to be barbecue vendors, Calliope ice cream, which is like small batch ice cream is phenomenal. And so really a great, um, some great pairings for you to try. To some of the up. fall festivals are the best in town. You know, we just sort of transition from from one festival to the next around correct, here, it all correct, works. Correct. And there's some roller derby action this weekend, the Mad Rolling Dolls. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so exciting. This is an international playoff um, for the ultimate championships so that will take place in Portland in November. But the Mad Rolling Dolls are the host to this, and they're in it as well. So this is a really wonderful thing. I had a chance to talk to one of the derby girls and learn a little bit more about roller derby. Let's check it out. For each play, which we call a jam, we actually send four blockers out and one jammer. The jammer is the person who's going to score points by getting out of the pack of blockers, lapping around, and then making a point for each opposing blocker that she passes. You need to stop a jammer on the line, a toe stop turn will get them almost every time. Now, I've been to bouts and there's these wonderful color commentary that really helps for fans to kind of understand what's going on. Does that ever get distracting for you guys or do you love the announcers too? Well, sometimes when they tell your name out loud because you put an awesome hit on somebody. <laughs> When we play roller derby, we have legal blocking zones and legal target zones. On her legal target zone, I can hit her from the neck down to just above the knee, so below the neck. I cannot hit her on the back legally. My target zones, I can hit her with my back, my front, anything, not my elbows, down to my hands, and I can't use my knees or my feet. Now, if she was trying to get past me, I'm going to try to stay in front of her and if she somehow squeaks past me, I can block her out of bounds. If I get flipped around, I can block her this way, as long as I'm moving in the appropriate direction of gameplay. Um, the league is very established, and there's almost like a farm system to bring new players. If somebody watches this and they want to get involved, how could they find out more? Well, they can actually go to our website. That's madwoolandolls.com. They actually have a recreational league, and it is called the Mad Wrecking Dolls. You can find out more by going to our website there, but they'll actually train you from the bottom up how to roller skate and how to play roller derby. From there, if you're interested enough in competing, you can actually try out to be on the Mad Rolling Dolls. Wow, best of luck to them. So if they win, then they'll go to Portland. Correct. So there's three guaranteed games for them to be in, but we have teams from Helsinki. There's these Gotham roller girls from New York. They're supposed to be like the reigning supreme championship of the sport. There is such an exciting, uh, wonderful, cool, uh, exciting atmosphere at Alliant. You've got to go and check it out. Or maybe try out to be a, a derby girl. They're amazing athletes. She's a mom of twins, you said? Correct, and also works full time and- uh, As a geologist? Correct, and she is a <laughs> phenomenal athlete as well. And so this is a great way to kind of honor their effort and cheer on the hometown team. Very good, best of luck to them. Great stuff going on this weekend. Thanks so much, Judy, have a good one. Thanks, you too. <laughs>